Peter Hall is in the Weather Center for us right now. Pete, do we expect this to be a widespread, all-encompassing Central New York event? I think the immediate Central New York area, everybody's going to get heavy rain and lightning. In terms of wind damage or something worse, that's going to be isolated, but many of us have a severe thunderstorm warning right now. Here's information so that you're not scared, but you're prepared for what's going to happen. Everybody in the yellow, which covers a good chunk of central New York, has a severe thunderstorm warning until 545 or 6 p.m. What does that mean? Well, for sure you're getting downpours and lightning, a lot of cloud ground lightning, too. That in and of itself can be dangerous if you're driving around in it and or if you're outside. There's also an opportunity for some damaging wind. Now, I've been analyzing the winds inside of these storms. I haven't seen anything more than 40 or 45 miles per hour. However, we have had reports of golf ball sized hail that can cause some damage within all of this. And we talked about this earlier on Facebook Live and posted web stories about it. There's also a tornado watch. Why? Because these storms have an opportunity of rotating and possibly could produce a rogue or isolated tornado. Having said that, there is one storm in particular that has some rotation. So let's talk about that right now. Here's a look at the entire area in central New York that has the severe thunderstorm warning. The first thing you notice is, my goodness, is there a lot of lightning. Lightning is dangerous. You don't want to be outside. You could be electrocuted, okay? That's number one. And obviously, heavy rain is also an issue. There may be some isolated flash flooding with this as well. Zooming down a little further, really tight in here, here's the Syracuse area. It's been Thruway North and now Camillus West. It's the storm that is roughly between Camillus and Elbridge, which is this one right here. Let me just analyze it. Or this one right here. It is showing signs of rotating a little bit, but the winds aren't that strong. I've seen winds of about 40 miles per hour, which that in and of itself is not going to create damage and likely would not create a tornado. However, since it is rotating a little bit, we need to be weather aware and it is moving to downtown Syracuse. One way or another, we're all going to get slammed by a ton of downpours and a lot of cloud to ground lightning. Zooming out, once we get through that, there's only a small bit of showers and storms, but everybody over here needs to be aware, basically Syracuse, Ithaca, and East, because that storm system is moving south and east. You'll see that right in through here on the radar in the last hour. So if you have a severe thunderstorm warning, here's what you should do. Get inside. Stay away from being outside. Stay away from windows and doors and wiring and bathrooms. And wait till 30 minutes before going back outside after you hear thunder. Now, on the outside chance there's a tornado warning, I wanted you to know the terminology. The watch means be prepared. It doesn't mean tornadoes will happen. If there's, an, if there's a warning, you need to take action. Once in a while, a tornado emergency is issued for a severe threat to human life and cat catastrophe. That is very, very rare, even in the Midwest. Anyway, by 8 p.m., only a lingering shower with thunderstorm threat, and then it's gone. Tomorrow is a combination of sunshine and clouds, way less humidity, a fresh breeze, and a high temperature of 79. But I wanted to focus in on Saturday. Saturday is going to be crummy, cloudy for almost the entire day. It's only some late afternoon sun. Most of the day is in the 50s. You probably have to wait till 3 or 4 o'clock before we get to 60. Uh -huh. That's not so nice for June. Father's Day, granted, still cool, but with lots of sun, it'll look and feel a lot better. Stanley Law Skywatch, the Regency Tower camera is facing south. And you can almost see the shadow of the dark skies on the other side behind the camera because look how dark it is on the front and right facing part. Get set for thunderstorms. We're tracking it minute by minute. If any additional warnings are issued, I've got you covered on air and online. I've got you covered all over central New York, guys. We know you do. Pete, thanks so much.